This real Ghana world boxing, Akwaba. Welcome to my channel. Madas said thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way in, on your way out. Also, hit that notification bell to get the latest videos. Peace. Yeah, Lamont Peterson, Road Warrior, Boom Wounded Warrior, man. Uh, retired today you know let's 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 uh congratulate let's get the congratulations out of the way you know sergey lippin yetz the kazakhstan fighter um stopped lamont peterson in the 10th round actually it was a uh, corner Le 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 barry hunter stopped the fight because lamont was taking too many hooks from sergey lippin yes you know the fight started off you know uh classic lamont peterson you know he was boxing and he was you know, recently of, of the last few years, Lamont start was doing a lot more uh, dog fighting. You know, he uh, he kind of moved away from his boxing, his movement. I don't know, it's due to getting older. You know, he couldn't move around the ring like he used to. But you know, he um, definitely began to fight in the wheelhouse more. Began to become more of a phone booth fighter. You know, uh, taking too many punches, man. He he he's been absorbing a lot of punches lately. You know, uh, but more specifically, the Errol Spence fight took a lot out of Lamont Peterson, um, a 35-year-old fighter. You know, from uh, you know, Mer uh, from DC. You know, he he's been fighting for a while, man. The guy's been a classic boxer. Um, you know, some I, I thought he beat Danny Garcia, but he, you know, he they, he, he lost that. He got a he lost the decision to Danny Garcia. I thought he beat Danny, and also, uh, you know, he fought some good. He, he lost to Tim Bradley, but you know, he fought. Some good guys, man. Uh, hats off to him, man. Oh, always been a, a great fighter, man. Great boxer, man. Very technical. So, but in this fight, man, Sergey Lipies, you know, was always delivering. He, I mean, he, he consistently delivered a hook, right hook, left hook. And Lamont was eating too many hooks, man. You know, uh, he maybe he thought he was a bigger fighter, but technically, these guys are both 140 fighters, man. They both moved up to 147, but they're not. I don't think neither one of them are, are welterweights. Honestly, Sergey Lipies thinks that he beat a welterweight, a legitimate welterweight. Lamar Prison, you know, is a bit was a bit heavy in his career. You know, he was he was overweight. You know, he's, he's, he carries a lot of weight, but really, man, the guy's a 140 fighter, man. Once he moved up to 147, he started taking some some losses, man. Uh, you know, look, Sergey Lipies though, man, is also a same thing. Moved up 147. Can he beat guys like uh, Sean Porter? You know, bigger guys like Sean Porter, uh, Keith Thurman. Errol Spence, you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, also another 140 moving up. Uh yet to be seen. I don't think Sergey can can, you know, because he lost he, he lost pretty one-sided fighting in Marky Garcia, you know. Mike Garcia. So um this is interesting, man. Uh, Sergey came in here and straight up uh stopped by my Peterson, a, a, a veteran of this of the sport, you know, but Peterson retired, man, on his back, man. The guy didn't quit. So hats off to him, man. Most of these guys quit, you know. Uh, boxing's an unforgiving sport. But Sergey Lipies, man, came out swimming. The ex kicks kickboxer, you know, he improved, man. He improved, he improved himself, you know, to the welterweight level. He's he's putting his his name out there to be, you know, reckoned with, man. Who can he fight next? Is it be a good good thing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I can see him in there with Danny. You know, a lot of these guys, these 140 guys, Danny Garcia's the. Uh, you know, Terrence Crawford's the uh, who else is in, you know, moving up? Mikey Garcia's they're all in 147 now, you know. Uh, man, it, it's he's in look, I think uh, second LPS is in the IBF ranking, so you know, will he climb up the rankings to contest uh, Errol Spence? I don't know. Uh, that I don't see, I don't see second LPS doing anything to Errol, Errol Spence will destroy him, man, but you know, uh. It, it, look, man. I'm not gonna be pessimistic on on Sergey. Sergey, man, is a is a is a good fighter, actually. You know, man. Because look, man, he was catching Lamont with short hooks, man. You know, I think Lamont would have been better off just to continue to box. You know, uh, moving around the ring. You don't have nothing to prove to nobody, man. The guy Lamont Prison has been fighting for a long time. You know, he could he could get himself a decision. You know, he doesn't have to stay in a phone booth fight. You know, phone booth fight. You know trade inside fighting trading hooks you know at his age 35 he should not be taking that much damage and, and that's why Barry Hunter throwing a towel because it was just too much man you know uh but look Sergey Lippy yes man I'm just trying to think man can it can he be uh, a leg legitimate 147 welterweight 
can he be in this climate? Well, you know, we, it was yet to be seen what Keith Thurman is going to do. I don't know. He might retire early. Nobody knows. What's way of vision is kind of it's kind of unknown for the most part because guys is just like lingering, you know. Uh, you know, your U- Dennis Ugas can limping yes beat a Ugas I, I, a bigger Ugas. Uh, who that's going? You know, it's some good fights there, man. You know, Sergey Gutierrez is a dog and he has a dog mentality where he's in there also taking some punishment, trading hooks. You know, uh, he can't fight in the inside fairly well. You know, but. He's a shorter welterweight and a taller guy. Like Ugas, you know, sh- you know, Ugas is a banger, you know. So he he will be in a dog fight as well with with Lippin Yes, you know. Very good fight there. It's it's a lot of fights to be made, you know. And the PBC rankings, there's a lot of fights to be made. So uh on to on to more bigger and better things for Sergey Lippin Yes. Uh uh on to retirement for Lamont Peterson. Much due retirement and congratulations to him for a good career, man. Nothing to be ashamed of, man. Unfortunately, he had to go out like this, but it's all all well. It's all all in all a good thing that he's able to retire with his able to speak normal for the most part. You know, he's not fighting for a check. So it's real guy in the world boxing. Y'all take care.